Hey, it's Every here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a landing page using the Aweber platform. So very excited to get into this video. This is a little bit of a different video that I'm doing today. But I thought I would show you step by step how to build a landing page, you could use this to collect emails and build up your email list. And then of course, get more sales in the long term, right? Is that what we're all after? So anyways, let's actually get right into it. So real quick, uh, the very first thing that I want to mention is, is if for whatever reason, if you don't already have an Aweber account, you'll just want to go to aweber.com and you'll want to go ahead and set up an account. The good news, the good news is, is you could actually set one up for free, right? So Aweber just recently for the, for the first time launched a new free plan and you could actually use this to start building up your email list. And what's great about this is you could actually use this account to build up landing pages. So everything that I'm going to be doing in this video, you could still do with the free version of Aweber. So you don't, if you don't want to pay for it right away, you don't necessarily have to. You could start you could start with the free version, and whenever you feel ready, then you could upgrade to the pro version if you feel that it's right for you, right? So uh, I do have a link down below if you want to check that out. And if you want to, of course, follow along with me, you're more than welcome to do that. But uh, once you get your account set up, you will then be brought to this dashboard right right here. And before you set up your landing page, the first thing that you'll need to have is you'll need to have a list, a, a email list that you're building, right? So if you don't already have that, you'll just want to go up to the top up here, which is lists, click on this option. And then you'll want to click on the option that says create a list, right? So you click on this option right here, and then you simply just follow in the steps, right? Your company name, your company website, um, you know, your uh, sender name and uh, email address and you know, next step, and then you blah, blah, blah. You give a uh, description, you know, list name, uh, list description, and then next step, and then blah, blah. And then, you know, it's pretty, you know, pretty basic um, information that you'll want to, of course, fill out. Once you get that, uh, you know, that email is set up, then you could go ahead and start creating landing pages for your list, right? So uh, then you'd want to go to this option right here, which is landing pages. And right here, it will actually give you a list of different templates you could use. You'll want to go ahead and click on the create landing page option first. And here it'll actually give you the list of different uh, templates you could use. So you could either use one of these if you want to. You could pick any of these templates, or uh, you could always just start with like a blank canvas right here and just create a template. And in that case, that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start with, off with a blank um, uh, blank template, and I will of course create this from complete scratch, right? So uh, you're actually going to watch me do this, you know, completely live. This is going to be off the cuff. This is, you know, there's no fancy editing or anything along those lines. You're just going to watch me. Um, you know, create this, you know, live, right? So this is going to be, I'm going to think off the top of my head, I'm just going to you know, see how, uh, how will I do? And hopefully this turns out great. So uh, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this landing page a name, right? So depending on what you are promoting, or what you are intending on promoting, you'll want to give your landing page kind of a name uh, that kind of, um, I guess, represents what you're, uh, what you're going to be offering, right? So let's say, for example, that you're offering something in like the online business niche or something about you know doing affiliate marketing right so we can maybe call this um affiliate marketing uh basic training or affiliate marketing overview uh four day overview right so we could do that four day overview and this will be the name of our list so then or name of our, uh, I guess you could say landing page. And then from here, I'm going to uh, type in my uh, landing page, right? So every single landing page should consist of uh, of, of a, um, yeah, a headline at the top. And then it, you would want to have some sort of form where people could enter uh, their email, or if you want, you could also ask for the name or their phone number as well. Although I personally would probably go with just the email. Um, and maybe then the name as well, if you want to do that, if you want to write out you know, emails and kind of customize it where it has their name in it, you could do that as well. But in this case, with this example, I'm just going to ask for their email. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a headline. Let's let's say, for example, that, you know, we are promoting something in the business niche or something about how to grow an online business or, you know, how to do affiliate marketing. Uh, the headline might be something along the lines of um, free training reveals and uh, what I might actually do here is I might take this text right here. I'm going to go to a site called Text Mechanic, uh, textmechanic.com. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. And I'm going to uh, uppercase each letter. So I'm just going to have it like this. I'm going to put that back in here. And then we will type in how to 
go from zero, zero to 10K per month from complete scratch. And again, I'm just like, literally just coming up with this like off the top of my head this is not like you know i guess maybe not the best headline out there but this is just to give you an idea on kind of what uh you know kind of what works right so uh one of the things that i would like to mention with this is when you're creating landing pages oftentimes uh simple pages are known to convert the best so you know having like for example like a fancy background like um like how a lot of the templates that you've seen just had you know like a garden or like um uh, like you know all this all these different colors and that type of stuff. Uh, those uh, landing pages nowadays are known to convert not as good as like a simple, you know, text on, you know, uh, white background uh, landing page. And this is just something that has been kind of proven at, uh, within the, uh, the most recent years uh, is that simple pages tend to convert the best, right? So you don't necessarily have to go, you know, all out and, you know, um, include all this other stuff. Uh, you could always, uh, you know, do a bit of testing, kind of see what converts best, you know, later on down the road. But uh, if you're just getting started out, you don't, you could just start off with, you know, just a simple page that has a headline and then asks for a opt-in form or their email down below, right? So right here, we have our headline right here. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to include, I'm going to write uh, into your, your email for instant to get instant access. All right, I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna try and center this. Boom, 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 there we go there. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see here, let's go size 18. No, let's actually go like size like 24. And I think that's pretty good. And then from here, I'm going to include the form, right? So here's the option that says form. We're gonna drag that down here. And uh, this uh, initially, is asking for their name and email. So you could either just leave it like this if you want to, if you want to ask for their name and email. Otherwise, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete um, this option that says name, right? So I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna click on remove where it says name. And uh, the reason why you uh, might choose to do this, you know, rather than asking for the name as well, uh, is, well, there's kind of, I guess there's pros and cons to having the name and, you know, not having the name. Uh, you know, if you choose to ask for their, their name, uh, the benefit is you will be able to uh, add to, I guess, you know, personalize the emails more, right? So you could have it to where you put in like a certain code. And let's say, for example, that the person's name is like Anna or something like that, right? You know, and, and you put in that code and if they put in, you know, their name is Anna, the email will start off with saying like, hi, Anna, like, hope you're doing well. I just want to talk about, you know, blah, 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 or like, hi, Ryan, hi, um, Mike, hi, Jimmy, or something along those lines. That's kind of what um, having that allows you to do, right? So uh, otherwise, if you just ask for the email, the benefit here is that you will get a lot more opt-ins, right? Because uh, the more that you ask for, the more steps that someone has to go through in order to uh, request access, uh, less people are gonna, going to, of course, opt in, right? So if you wanna get uh, more opt-ins, then I would ideally just ask for the email. Otherwise, if you wanna get more, I guess you could say high quality opt-ins, then you might consider asking for the name as well. So that's completely up to you, but you could just ask for the, the, the email in this case, which I'm gonna go with here. And then um, let's see, add a form field. Okay, we could add a name if we want to as well, or you could uh, add in my custom fields as well. Uh, labels, uh, font family, okay, then you could change the font if you want to as well. And this pretty much, um, okay, so submission. Uh, and then what you could do here, is you could actually create a, uh, a thank you page. So this would be like the next step inside of a funnel. I'm gonna go ahead and preview this real quick and see what comes up. So the thank you page that would come up would be this right here. It says, thank you for subscribing. Um, I wanna see if we could actually change that. And uh, I'm gonna actually also say this, uh, this is actually my first time actually going uh, this far into creating a landing page. So you're actually watching me uh, do this for the very first time, I guess you could say like live on video, right? Which is uh, kind of, um, I guess, interesting, right? So. You could do um, simple, you could do custom URL. And I guess you can create your own uh, page here. Otherwise you could just leave it, you know, like the simple one there, or you could just do like none. So I'm gonna just leave it as simple and then already subscribed page. We could just keep the simple one there. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Okay, looks like that's like completely the same thing right there. 
Uh, but uh, from here, if you would just want to go with something like this, you know, just a basic, um, you know, text on white screen, um, and then, you know, the opt-in form, then that's pretty much what we could go for there. Otherwise, uh, I want to, I'm going to save this real quick, and I want to show you kind of a few more things you could do. So we're saving that. And let's actually go ahead and create another landing page just to kind of give you a better idea. So again, you can go with any of these templates right here. And I want to show you a few more things you could do. So if we go to um, like this one, for example, choose a uh, template and we uh, look in here. So you, you could add like, you know, like images, you could add uh, more text, you could add a video if you want to. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm personally not a fan of adding videos in like um, uh, landing pages, uh, primarily because you just want to get people to make that decision right then and there. And video, you know, takes time to watch and, you know, it's it's more time for the, the person visiting the page, right? So again, there's a you know, few, few other things you could do here. If you want to, for example, uh, change the background color, um, you could simply just click on that, click on this uh, box right here. You could make this like, for example, it looks like that's changing the other color right here, but you know, we change this. background color I see this is like the other background color if you want you can make this like blue or if you want to do that and then this is like the third one here let's see three we could do like red here if you want to All right so again there's a lot of things you can go through here um you know, it's just something where you have to kind of like, I guess, kind of play around with it a bit. But ideally, the simple pages tend to convert the best, right? So anyways, hope you found uh, this uh, tutorial to be helpful. If you did, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And anyways, if you want to check out Aweber for yourself, if you uh, want to, of course, uh, try this out, you could always try this out for free. It's completely free to do. Otherwise, if you want to learn more about how to do affiliate marketing step by step, I do have a free training that they could check out. And that is the very first link down below. When you click on that very first link, that will actually take you over to this page right here that will show you how to build a highly profitable business online by selling other people's products. So this is the four-day training that I put together myself. Uh, and this goes more in depth about how to build an affiliate marketing business, how to do affiliate marketing more step by step, and how to really get those long term consistent results, right? Because the thing with affiliate marketing is that um, very few people ever manage to get long term consistent results online. And that's exactly what this training shows you how to do. So if you want to learn more about how to do all this stuff, uh, you know, more deeper, more in depth, and you want to learn, I guess, kind of a better overview of how affiliate marketing works, then be sure to check out this training down below enter your name and email here, click on the button, and from there, get instant access to video number one. But anyways, hope you got lots of value in this video. If you did, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and take care.